In this video we're going to build the body of the airplane. The side view will be the sketch that I will use initially because it gives us the most amount of detail uh, that I can put into one sketch. I can see that the body is 10 inches long, it's 2 inches high. I have a 2 inch by 1 quarter inch notch that's 2 inches from the front of the block. I have a 2 inch by quarter inch deep notch on the back edge. There is a 1 inch hole, 4 and a half inches back, and eighth of an inch down from the top surface. And there are two angles uh, on the top and bottom edge. Each of them are 10 degrees, one 4 inches from the back, one 5 inches from the back. I'll start a new part studio in inches. I'm going to start a sketch, put this on the right sketch plane, left click and view normal to the sketch plane. I'll start out with a rectangle that is a corner rectangle and stretch this out to the right. This is going to be 10 inches long and 2 inches high. Now I would like this to be uh, centered on the origin, so I'm going to use a midpoint constraint. I want the midpoint of this line to be coincident to the origin. Next I'm going to use another uh, corner rectangle for this notch along the bottom edge. I'll make the first point coincident to this bottom line. It's going to be two inches long and 0.25 high. Uh, I'll use my dimension tool and say from the front edge to the front edge of the notch is going to be 2 and now I've created that. Next I'll use a center point circle to create this hole. I'll guess it goes about there and make the diameter 1. Using the dimension tool I want from the center of the circle to the front edge to be 4.5 and I want from the center point of the circle to the top edge to be 0.125. Next we'll put the angles on the back. I'm going to use my line tool, start coincident with the top edge and make this coincident to the back. dimensioning from this back edge to that front point. This is going to be 4 and the angle will be 10 degrees. Likewise on the bottom, snap to the bottom edge and to the back edge. Uh, dimension this from the back edge to this line. This is going to be 5. It also will have an angle of 10 degrees. Last I'll use my line tool to put this notch in the back edge. I'll make it coincident to this angled line. I want it to be perpendicular at uh, 0.25 and coincident to this back edge and that distance should be 2. And I'll accept this sketch. I'll right click and go to isometric view. I want to extrude this profile and I want this to be symmetric to the uh, right plane and have a depth of 1.25 and with that I've created uh, my first feature uh, in making the body of the airplane. Next, looking at the top view, I can see that the back edges are tapered from the top view uh, 4.5 inches from the back edge at an angle of 5 degrees. I'm going to start a new sketch and use the top of the block as my sketch plane. Right click and view normal to the sketch plane. Uh, I think I'll rotate this so that it's running horizontally across the screen. 
I need to use some of these lines. So I'm going to use a use command and I want this back line, I want this line. to be uh, able to be included in my sketches. Now I'll use the line command, be coincident to this edge and coincident to the back edge. Uh, this is going to have a dimension, I will say from this back edge to the end point of this line is going to be 4.5 and it's going to have an angle of five degrees. Now I'll use a construction or center line from the midpoint of this back edge I'm going to just stretch this um, horizontal along here and use this center line for a mirror. Click on the mirror, select that center line I just created and for the mirrored object select that edge or that line that I created. I can see that that's there and so I will right click and escape mirror and we've created that. So I can finish this sketch, right click and go to isometric, use my extrude. In this case I want to remove these areas that we just created and I want this to go through all so it goes all the way down that looks right and so I will accept it. So now we've put that taper on the back. For my next feature on the front edge we have a chamfer. This is one inch back from the front edge at an angle of 14 degrees. I can use my chamfer feature to create this. I'm going to click on my chamfer uh, feature tool and I'm going to choose from the drop down men menu a distance and an angle. In this case, I can set the distance at 1 inch and the angle at 14 degrees. And now I'll choose this front edge. And I can see that that's not uh, going in the correct way that I want it to go. So the opposite direction, I can use this little arrow to reverse it. And that's the way I want it to be with the 1 inch going back. So we'll go to this edge and we'll go to this edge and finally to this bottom edge and that creates that chamfer around the front. I'll go ahead and accept this and change back to isometric view. Now there's a quarter inch hole in the very front center of the airplane for the propeller. I'm going to start a sketch and put this on the front plane and just add a point on the origin, which is in the middle of that uh, area. With that done, I'm going to add a hole feature. Click on that point I just added. This is going to be ANSI, the least simple blind hole. It will be drilled. It's going to be a quarter inch and it's going to be half an inch deep. Um, so I'll go ahead and accept that. And now I put that hole in there for the propeller pin. Next I need to round the corners on the outside edges of the plane. For this I will use a fillet. And my settings should be 0.125. And I will choose each individual edge. I'm not going to do the whole airplane. This area for the wing or the horizontal stabilizer or around the cockpit will not be rounded. And if I ch accidentally choose an, uh, a surface or a corner that I don't want to, you can remove it from the list here or use the undo command to take it back. And continue around the airplane. When I finish choosing all of the edges that I want rounded, I'll accept that. And now the body of the airplane is finished.